this video is a continuation of lesson 84 power apps thousand videos lesson 84 which is repeating section safe to sharepoint so i have a copy of that application i have just changed the name here to save and list so the screen one we are going to work on the save and the list so first thing we have our repeating section list we will create another list and that list will be the secondary list to store the gallery data the repeating section data will be stored in the secondary list In this we will create a reference to the uh, repeating section list ID and then first name and last name will also go here. So we have finished adding all the contents of the list. We add data connection to the list. When I was giving this demo, I have already added this second this connection to the, but I can uh, uh, remove and show you again we pick this list and we in the save logic i have the code so in the code first you do the patch we have two lists now okay these two data these two fields get stored in the first list okay so there are the first this will patch in the first list get the id this is a collection which is returned when the patch of the first list is done and we take the first and the id this will return the id of the first from the first field from the first list so here i am going to put this code in the save button and we will explain it here so this is the first list rep, rep section list okay and this is the default then the two fields which go in that list so this is the the first list 
we don't need this because in our lesson 84 we were uh, storing uh, in the uh, table data as a delimited value but we don't need them anymore uh, so we don't need this field instead we are storing everything in this so we are storing the uh, rep sex repeating section list id which is this id so we would know that this data belongs to which uh, item of this list okay so first we store we patch the first list get the id we store that id in the id field title we find we pass blank and the remaining two items come from the gallery and we have already seen for all gallery dot all items in the previous lessons so we first patch the first list get the id and then pass that id and repeat in all the gallery items to store it so let's run it Okay, we save it now. We come to the first list. ATC and the phone number is stored here. ATC phone number in the first list. Then we come to the second list. Intika Sheikh John Butler in the second list. Remember this 15 is coming from here. So now we have created a repeating section where the information is stored in the primary list any information which is not repeating is stored in the first list this information is this information is not repeating this information is repeating the name we don't need this id because this id will all automatically be generated for this list so we use uh, the secondary list to store this information in our future video we will cover how to edit it so once again let me explain you this logic the save logic this is a continuation of lesson 84 so some of the content we have all i've already explained there so first we patch the first list with non-repeating data which is the title and the phone non-repeating data then after the patch we get the id and store in a temporary variable and then we use this variable to patch gallery all items so if you see every item has this 15 which is the id from the first list so each one of get this one each one of the item gets the id title is blank the first name last name from the repeating table repeating section that's it